teach us to raise our minds and hearts more open to the Trinity and the benefits thereon a respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us in the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the fur of pilgrims. Your charity is willing to shelter. To turn your merciful gaze towards us, draw us into your brilliance, shower us with your kindness, lead us into life and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But let each minute take us further into the depths of the endless mystery, until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal love. on me, a sinner, Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner, have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense, oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart created for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with the spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, reveal the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust. 
Great reward is in their keeping. But who can detect all his errors from hidden vaults acquit me? From presumption, mysterious servants, let it not rule me. Then shall I be blameless, clean from grave sin. May the spoken words of my mouth, the thoughts of my heart, win favor in your sight, O Lord, my rescuer, my rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If they had known God's wisdom, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. If we endure, we shall also reign Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. You are so, Lord, our grandeur and power, majesty and splendor and glory. For all in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you, and you have dominion over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Therefore, our God, we give you thanks, and we praise the majesty of your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If we endure, we shall also reign. Holy Father, keep them in your name, that they may be one just as we are one. To my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my groaning. Attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord, in the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil, no sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil, you destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty men the Lord but I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths, their heart is all mischief. Their throat a wide open grave, all honey their speech. Declare them guilty, O God, let them fill their designs. Drive them out for their many offenses, for they have defied you. All those you protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them, in you they rejoice. 
Those who love your name. It is you who grants the just man, Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Holy Father, keep them in your name, that they may be one just as we are one. From the prophet Jeremiah. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. follows me does not walk in the dark he will have the light of life blessed be the Lord the God of Israel he has come to his people and set them free he has raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of his servant David through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Whoever follows me does not walk in the dark. He will have the light of Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God, bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. <coughs> Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. shining star of the church who we reflect the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of word, the eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the word made flesh, who at the last supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received a treasure at the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agapitos, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, and Mary, Mother of Jesus and our Mother. Angelus Domini Nunciabit Marie, et concepit et Spiritus Sancto. Ece Angela Domini, fiat mihi secundum verbum tuum. Ad verbum caro factum est, et habitavit in nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, nobilus tecum, benedicat tu, in mulieribus, et Benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre, Ora pro nobis sancta Dei genitrix, ut digni efficiamur promissionibus Christi. Oremus, gratiam tuam quesumus Domine, mentibus nostris infunde, ut qui angelo nunziante Christi fili tui incarnationem cognovibus, per passione meus et crucem, Ad resurrectionis gloriam perducami, et eum dem Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. 